Dean Lewis is falling up and Joe Moore with Easy For You. I'll tell you what is going up and that is the EYCI, the Eastern Young Cattle Indicator. If you are involved in agriculture, you'll know that that's been rising for the last 12 months um, to astronomical proportions. It's the graph that just keeps on giving. And uh, on our Friday farm gate here at Flow News 24, Ricky Lambert attracts a whole range of commodities. You can see his full report tomorrow morning up on our webpage, flownews24.com. But as we've been reporting in recent weeks, the EYCI has gone through the 950 cents barrier, and that would indicate that it could well get to wait for it the thousand cents. That's it, ten dollars a kilogram carcass weight, and that uh, when you start to consider what that will have implications for, that's uh, going to have uh, massive implications for farmers. It's a good thing in that they'll get more for their cattle, and that's already been happening around our sale yards as we report on the Friday farm gate. But here's where it gets interesting for those that are actually planning for maybe a spring barbecue, looking forward to getting the Weber back out and the taking out of the mothballs from it and getting it started again. You may be paying a lot more for beef at that stage and it gets interesting with domestic supply based around what's happening with international supply. Now the US had its bonanza back in 2015 it's dropped back to more moderate levels. Argentina was paying so much for its beef domestically that in recent times it said we're going to stop exporting to Europe and that again has caused beef from Australia to go up in price. Uh, You see they wanted to protect their barbecues in their own land they're uh, having problem with their uh, local people not able to afford to be able to get their asado barbecues going in that wonderful part of the world in South America. And that is having implications on Australian beef. The competition internationally, that is by, say, buyers in Asia like Japan and Korea and those coming online out of the UK, where the UK has said that it will drop its tariffs. Its local farmers have, um, in effect, the protection against our beef coming into their country. But under the trade agreements, that they're going to allow our beef there too. But not just allow it, they may actually need it because of the price in production and this becomes a very real issue uh, for those who are expecting to get to September and be able to put that uh, massive uh, beautiful rump steak onto the barbecue right now the price um, is at 951.47 cents you can see the sale yard prices um, up on our article at flownews24.com.au but I'm going to give a tip here I reckon we could hit the thousand cents um, by uh, the AFL grand final week again and that to my mind would be very very hard buying domestically that's another 50 cents odd to go on to the current um, situation but at the moment uh, across 10,000 head that were presented at sale yards the Eastern Young Cattle Indicator got to 951.47 and so I'm calling it I reckon uh, the AFL Grand Final weekend a thousand cents per carcass weight I'll see if I'm right. Probably won't be. My tips are never right when it comes to AFL, so why would my meat pricing be any closer to the mark?